something happened to me the other night and uh, I wasn't going to say anything but I'm curious to get other people's uh, comments on uh, an issue that I ran across so um, I have like um, several different ASM artists that I um, listen to on a frequent basis and I say listen to because um, I'm not because I'm not a really a visual person. I really am audible. I like, I, the listening is what triggers me, not watching. Like I've never been able to get triggered by like hand movements and some of the other things that are not popular on ASMR. But, um, so I was uh, listening the other night to one of the artists that I, that I am subscribed to. And I was, it was a video that I've watched, like, I can't tell you how many times. I mean, I've had it saved in my favorites for probably, I'm guessing, six or seven years. So over the years, I've probably watched it. I probably use it, like, four or five, to that particular video, I probably use four or five times per month uh, to fall asleep with. And so I had laid down, and I put my headphones in, and... I was, I was laying there for about five minutes when all of a sudden, boom, uh, it, it, some commercial popped on her video. Uh, this ASMR artist had installed midway um, ads in her ASMR whisper video. And I thought to myself, what in the world? I, I was really shocked. Like, obviously, we all are used to, like, the ads that come on before the video. Um and maybe ads at the end, and, and really, like, if you're watching other things, like a, a documentary or something, sometimes you're going to see ads throughout it, but I think that on ASMR videos, it is, like, really, really, really rude for uh, an ASMR artist to, to put ads in the middle of their videos in order to try to get more money. Now, again, I... Some ASM artists, that's how they make their living, is by uh, placing ads and getting lots of views and subscribers, and that's really their uh, means of income. I, you know, it does take a lot of time to make a video and edit a video and upload the video and, you know, you manage a, a channel. It's, it's not like, it, it isn't just like minutes a day. I mean, it's, you know, one video, like for me, like a... A, a 10 or 20 minute video overall I have about an hour invested in it by the time I make it and edit it and upload it and, and all the stuff that comes with it you know adding a, a description to the channel making a title and doing a thumbnail and it, it really is a little bit more work than maybe some people think but obviously I am not a large enough channel that I can be monetized so um you know, it's not that I'm jealous. Yes, I, I maybe I'm a little jealous of these big channels that, you know, they get paid a lot of money to do their uh, videos. But at the end of the day, I, I'm not doing this, you know, in the hopes of being able to make money on it. I truly do do this for a way to give back to the community. And yes, there is a part that like, hey, if, if in the end somehow I get, you know, get paid eventually to, to do this, that would be great. But it isn't my ultimate goal. And I'm committing to all of you right now that I would never in a million years even think about posting an ad in the middle of a video because people use this for relaxation. So, um, you know, to be, to imagine one of my subscribers listening there and maybe they're getting tingles and they're really relaxed and they're just laying there and they're comfortable. Uh, and then all of a sudden some, you know, ridiculously loud or, um, you know, just really interrupting the, the, the concentration. Sometimes you really have to concentrate to, to, to allow the tingles to come in. Like sometimes I'll listen to a video for two or three or four minutes before I'm, I'm, I'm relaxed and peaceful enough that the tingles will come. I mean, I'm sure you guys all can relate. Um, it isn't just a given that and then there's some nights I just can't get them, you know, no matter what I do, I 
just can't get relaxed enough or whatever to 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 get them. So I, you know, we've all I'm sure have experienced that. But um, I I took the step of unsubscribing and left a comment and said, "Look, I've unsubscribed because I I can't believe that you would do such a thing." So you know, maybe I overreacted, but. Um, I don't know. I would like your opinion. What do you think? Do you think it is okay for um, for some for an ASM artist to put advertisements in the middle of their videos and interrupt uh, whatever type of experience you're having watching their videos? You know, again, on other types of videos, no problem. You know, and if you know if it's not a video that's about relaxation, but I don't know why else you would do ASMR. I mean, ASMR is all about relaxation and tingles and that's why to me it makes it difficult to be able to do that and I know that it hurts their income potential but they still get the, the, the ads before the video and the ads after the video you know if it means they just have to make more videos to, to create the same amount of money rather than putting more ads in their videos I think that's the way to do it I've accepted the fact that there's no way if my channel ever becomes monetized there's no way I would ever do it and that I know I will be limited to ads only placed on the beginning and end of the video it's just the only thing you can do to do, to do the right thing otherwise you're just interrupting someone's <laughs> someone's experience which is just to me it's just it, it truly is just rude and, and downright, downright greedy so I'm not going to mention any names because I, I really don't want to cause harm to this person. And if she can continue to, to grow subscribers and make people happy doing that, maybe I'm just the weird one. But I, I have to think that most people have to agree with me that it, it, it's, it's got to be strange. Um, so anyway, if, uh, if you could let me know that, that would be great so that I know that I'm not alone in the world uh, with thinking that it's wrong to do. And maybe if you have it happen too, but I think that if, you know, if we all stick together and we say, look, we're not going to, we're not going to watch videos that we're not going to watch or support ASM artists that, that put ads in the middle of their videos, well, then they just won't, they'll be forced not to do it. And it will become um, commonplace knowledge that, you know, that an ASMR, an ASM artist cannot survive if they put videos in the middle commercials in the video in the middle of their video so okay I got that out of the way and now I just want 